Man, this is kind of ridiculous. We all knew the Wii U wasn't selling well, but I don't think any of us thought it was selling this poorly. Since November of 2012, the Wii U has sold only 5.8 million units worldwide, which means it's selling worse than the GameCube, Nintendo's least successful console. And now, thanks to Sony's very successful Japanese launch of the PS4, it's been confirmed that the PS4 has outsold the Wii U's lifetime sales worldwide in less than four months. Wow. I think this is really telling of what a good job Sony did with creating and marketing the PS4. The fact that they learned from the mistakes they made with the PS3 to overall improve and streamline their next console helped them out. But we all know, the real reason why the PS4 is selling better than the competition is because of hype. Like I've said before, there aren't that many awesome system selling games on the PS4 yet. A lot of people bought fucking duds like Call of Duty Ghosts. Yes, the great games are coming out soon, I know this too. But Sony really sold their console through hype, and the fact that it's difficult to find a PS4 even to this day is telling of the demand that the console has. I think something else that has aided the PS4 sales is the whole Xbox One DRM debacle. A lot of people do not forgive, and I've seen many people who've outright said, no, I'm not buying an Xbox One, they tried it so they can go fuck themselves. And I can completely understand that viewpoint. It's perfectly warranted. This helps Sony immensely. That is indisputable. However, I think another important factor in this console generation in particular helps sales. The fact that both competing consoles have one major hardware flaw that stops people from buying it. <coughs> Something the PS4 doesn't really have because of how they designed it. With the Xbox One, it's Kinect. And don't even dispute it. Most people don't like the Kinect, and I don't want to fucking hear, well, I use it, good for fucking you. If you want to use it, and I don't, they should be sold separately. It's a fucking peripheral. It should be optional. And of course, with the Wii U, it's the gamepad. I've used the gamepad, and I don't like it. A lot of people don't like asymmetrical multiplayer, myself included, and stupid gimmicks like touch controls, especially when that gimmick drastically decreases the power of the console due to the cost of manufacturing the gamepad. However, I think I can say, without a doubt, that the Wii U is going to be the least successful console of this generation. I still don't think it's a failure like some people do, but I think it will be the least successful console of the generation. It's still too early to say by how much, but I feel like I can't keep saying otherwise. I usually condemn those who say the Xbox One is doomed, because they're basing it on less than four months of figures, so that's dumb. But the Wii U is in a different ballpark to the Xbox One. It's been out for over a year, and has already been surpassed by a console that released in November. And that margin is only going to get bigger over this year, with games like Infamous and Watch Dogs coming out soon. And I'm pretty sure the Xbox One will outsell it in a few months too. I really hope Nintendo can learn from the mistakes they've made with the Wii U for their next console, and at least try to salvage this console, because it could be doing better. It still has the potential if they show people the strength of the gamepad, but they haven't done that. Nintendo have the strongest exclusives, but they're coming out way too slowly, and the marketing has been complete shit. So honestly, I'm not surprised the PS4 has outsold the Wii U this quickly.